Greetings, ITOP Life family. It is school time. We're here at Great Start Academy, which is going to be my chosen beneficiary for the Rising Seas Community Garden. Should our team win, having the most growers. So we're very excited to be here in St. Elizabeth alongside my brethren Kumar, whose family run this very beautiful school. And we're going to go take hey, I got a message in the melody. Sing it all night if you want to keep up. So this is the whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. How close you? <laughs> this is the garden that Great Start Academy already has going, and the kids really love growing and got really involved in it. So they're really excited to revamp this garden. It's grown out a bit now, and also add another space because there's over 300 kids that come to this school, um, and we'd love to support them in their growing missions. Grow your own food. All right, upstairs. Yeah, you know, so we just inside of the office a while ago with mommy and Auntie Cutie at our boat in a great start academy. So now we're here with Cousin Mother, Auntie Mother, also a teacher at Great Start, and Natalie Rice. What are you doing for this, Rice? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, Great Start Academy, you know, we're doing the Rising Seed in a project with Natalie as well as setting up a goal fund. Yes, Mother, so what do we need now, Mother? Okay, so Great Start Academy, yes, it's a school, the prep school of choice in South St. Elizabeth, right? So due to the COVID-19 crisis that we're facing, it's a bit of a challenge because, you know, Great Start is a private institution and it is solely run from the fees generated and, you know, talk shop and canteen. Um, COVID caused us to, you know, to close down for a while and... Due to that, some staff members had to be laid off, unfortunately, but we are trying now to put things in place for the new school year, which is so many things are changing. We have to have, you know, temperature checks, wash hand areas and all of those things. We will need more classrooms for spacing. We will also need more teachers. However, we are trying our best now to you know, use up the outside spaces. So we will have a, an, uh, a structure built here in the parking lot where you know teachers will have to park on the outside and um, we will put a structure there that can be used. It's a multi, we want, we're looking at a multi-purpose multi structure. So we, we, we can use that for different stuff, for in events like graduation, mm -hmm. Jamaica Day and so on, because we usually have events on the outside. So no, we won't have to rent tents anymore. We will have this building to be used for that purpose. It is very difficult because the money, as we said, we're not getting anything from the government. So, and we're not able now to host fundraising events because of the social distancing and the, the, the number of persons for these events. So, And how many students um, does Great Start Academy usually have on a regular day? Over 300, okay. over 300 students. Okay, so great start. Great start uh, is like a baby to us. It, 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 it was formed out of um, me wanting to help boys who are slow learners. And so I was in the public school for approximately 23 years. Yes, I did 23 years in the public school um, where I felt like I, I didn't have enough leverage to to help boys as as much as I would want to because boys tend to to get um to start a little late. They don't they don't catch on quickly as girls. Some boys I should say. And so you know the patience with them sometimes it takes a little longer. And so I realized that these boys needed extra help. I wasn't able to do that in the public school so I decided that I wanted to start my own thing. Hence the birth of great start. <laughs> 